Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the dashboard tool. So let's say you have some controls here like toggle switches and push buttons, and they're a bit big, right? They're like 25 centimeters. So that's a bit big. You want a smaller dashboard, it's more compact, and you want to put it on any surface like this slope here, okay? So you can do this with the dashboard tool. First off, you can create a new dashboard here. Okay, so if you hold C, you can see that this is new dashboard that's selected. And after creating a new dashboard, you can add any element to it. And they're like uh, smaller elements may meant to be used with the dashboards. So let's first create a new dashboard and uh, see you can make it like very precise and you can you're gonna drag it uh, to scale it up to four meters if you want. So if you hold shift, you can snap it to uh, uh, edges like this, okay? So that this way it's aligned. So this is a new dashboard here, and we can add elements to it like toggle buttons, okay? And these elements are aligned on a one centimeter grid. So it's very precise, and you can even like, uh, uh, you know, merge them together if you want. Um, and uh, let's say, let's add uh, also, other elements here so you can see that uh, these buttons here are 10 centimeters but the LEDs are 5 centimeters and you can add screens you need to drag the screens like this and a label as well here and um, let's add another screen here and you can also drag past the bounds of the dashboard. This is practical for HUDs and things like that. You can make it transparent as well. Okay. Now, uh, each, uh, each element, uh, you can hit V on it and see some information. Okay. Uh, the toggle button here can be switched horizontally. And the allow IO input checkbox is to allow you to send data to it uh, to control it via computer code, okay? Uh, the uh, push button has a single pulse mode where uh, if you don't want to, uh, you know, like when you when you press it, it, can, it just holds it like that and will continuously send a uh, signal, but if you want a single pulse, then it will just send a single pulse to the computer, okay? The arrow can be changed orientation and the LED can, we can change its color, okay? Like this, okay? And uh, the screen, we can send data directly to it um, via the computer. The label, you can set the label data here, okay? Like this. And you can change the alignment and the size and the color of the text. And you can also use the paint tool to paint the background of the label or the background of the dashboard itself. Okay. Now, when you want to control it via the computer, you can connect the entire dashboard. Okay. So you're not connecting individual elements, but you're connecting the entire dashboard. Okay. So there's a hidden connector in the back. Okay. Now, uh, to control the different elements, uh, they each have a channel that's assigned. Okay, and it, it will start at zero, and it's in the order that they're created. Okay, so this is channel one, channel two. This screen here is channel seven. Okay, uh, so let's uh, let's do something. Let's display. Uh, let's write on that screen the uh, the value of this uh, toggle button. Okay, so let's first create a new program test and uh, let's use uh, input uh, dashboard here it's connected to port 6 let's choose channel 0 which is the uh, the toggle uh, button here okay it is in channel 0 okay and we're going to output the data to channel 7 for this screen okay so we're going to output to uh, dashboard as well but we're going to do channel 7 Okay, we're gonna just connect that directly to it and save this. Then we're gonna start this program and we can see there's a zero here. So if we put the switch on, there's a one, okay? So uh, let's try something a bit more complex. Let's switch to, uh, let's convert to code 
and uh, instead uh, of just outputting that value let's uh, let's first blank uh, let, let's uh, yeah let, let's draw to it instead okay so we're gonna create a new screen reference so we are connected on on IO 6 and this is channel 7 for this screen okay so we use screen here to uh, uh, we're gonna blank it zero this makes it transparent and we're gonna write uh, the uh, uh, we're gonna write hello okay and maybe we are only gonna write hello if this uh, button is on okay let's do that now if it's on it's hello if it's off it's not hello and see it's transparent because we blanked it to zero okay so this is very practical for HUDs. Okay, uh, now uh, an important thing to note is that the dashboard are um, are oriented based on the view. Okay, so there's no specific up direction on builds, uh, other than for reset orientation. But the dashboards themselves can be oriented in any way. But if you press F2, you can rotate your view around, and you can add dashboards in different orientations. I can even add it like on this base here if I want okay so I can make it like this and if I add a label here I can set a text like this and you can see it's oriented this way okay so this is very flexible you can put them anywhere even on components and uh, you can have like a, you have a very high resolution also, another thing, if you delete something, let's say I want to put this switch elsewhere, okay, but it, it is assigned to channel zero, I want to destroy it, I can use the destructor tool, okay, like everything else, hold right mouse button and left click, and then I can add it anywhere else, and it will reuse that same channel, okay, I'm gonna put it here, okay, it's still channel zero, because whenever you add a new element, it reuses whatever first channel that's available, which most likely will be the one that you just deleted okay so it still works we can just put this flip the switch on and off and it changes the text here okay so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one